fantasy in my head One more time before I go I have powers taking a hold on me I need a one day First you want to pop off this plastic cover which is just behind the handle and now we can remove the torque screw which was behind it. Next we can pop off the piece of trim on the handle. Behind that there's two more screws you have to take off. There's one here and here. At the bottom of the door card there's these little retaining clips that have a screw that goes through the center and I'm just using one flat head to apply a little bit of outward pressure while the second screwdriver undoes the screw that's in that clip. And there's two of those little clips at the bottom of the door card. Now try to get your fingers under the edge of the door card and it should pry away from the door and lift up out of where it sits against the window. Undo this grey connector here and then just rotate the door card and just lean it up against the door. You don't have to unplug anything else. This white connector is where the speaker is plugged in and you just got to pull that out and then undo these three screws. Then you can take out the speaker housing. These are the speakers I chose to replace the factory ones with and they're just Kenwood. Um, I think they're about $70 for the pair, so not a bad deal. Now you just want to sort of rip and peel out the cone of the old speaker. Then you want to desolder these leads off the connection pads. If you don't have a soldering iron, you can just cut them. Now I'm using a little cutting disc on my Dremel and pretty much you've just got to cut the speaker out of the plastic housing. And here you can see how I made those cuts and this is so that the speaker can be released from the housing that needs to go back in the door. To get my Kenwood speakers to fit inside that plastic housing, I just had to grab some pliers and bend up these little tabs. And then you can see it sort of slots inside and sits inside where the old cone had glued in. And it's a perfect fit, it rotates freely. To fix the speaker in place, I used a big bead of hot glue and then just firmly pressed that speaker into the hot glue and held it until it dried. The Kenwood speakers came with some speaker wire in the kit that had these lug connectors on the ends and I used these to make a little jump cable between the speaker connections and the connections on the plastic housing. Now that we've installed the new speaker into the plastic housing, we can chuck it back in the door. It's a perfect fit because it's, well, a factory fit. And chuck all the screws back in and then we can plug in that speaker connector. Now you can chuck the door card back on and it's pretty much just the reverse order. The driver's side door is a little bit more complicated and in hindsight I probably should have shown that but there's basically just the mirror controller and then the central locking and power window unit that needs to be plugged back in but again these are just simple connectors easy as to take out and pretty easy to put back in. And now we can enjoy the results. No, you should. I cannot give you everything you know Young, 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 young
That's enough.